Good evening, this is Patrick with SFMF Fishing and I've got my mystery tackle box, saltwater box in yesterday. I finally had a chance to go ahead and make a video, but first I want to show you what I bought off the uh, Carl store because uh, I am go I'm buying retail right now because I'm getting ready for the spring and um, we'll start off with let's see here um, we got this right here a storm Arashi Walker okay it's um, I like um, topwater walking baits these are these are awesome this is an incredible color I think this color could be used almost anywhere I try to get very neutral colors to to be more than just my waters so um, you know listen to that nice little rattle inside can't wait to throw this and this is gonna go into my top water box and by the way everybody stay tuned I'll let you know about the giveaway at the end of my uh, video so you don't want to miss this so here's here's some of my top waters and I think this will go up here with the uh, monster bass um, top water right here and so the next thing I got was an Arashi Storm weight crank uh, even though I have a boatload of weight crates from six cents these just kind of like caught my eye so here you go here's a bluegill weight bait and what's really cool about this is it's got it's got this little to keep your line you know keep this everything straight and even and and um, running true it's pretty cool I, I kind of like it can't wait to try this top water wise um, it's a zero to one foot so more than likely if it goes underwater it's going to be no more than three or four inches so but this is pretty cool and this will go into this is uh, my popper box and being that it's basically top water kind of like can dive so I figured it, it could go in my popper box if you want to see my popper box top water type deals um, so this will go right here with the chartreuse one and then I got a um, buzz frog uh, from blitz lures and this is pretty cool I have a black one uh, if you guys have noticed I really like uh, black it's pretty universal and where bass don't have eyelids that black they're gonna see at the top of the water before they see any other color they're gonna just see that silhouette and that's what I want them to see especially if there's any sunlight I want them to focus in on what they're gonna be biting so I, this is brown on the bottom black on the top and it kicks as you as it goes through the water so it's almost like a buzz bait frog this will be good for early spring and this will go into my frog box and my whopper flopper box so that's this right here i don't know if y'all can see that so I have a spot right here next to the black one. And for you people that have just recently subscribed, um, this is what I do. I, I do uh, these videos and, um, and so people know what is in these boxes. I give my honest opinion. I have no sponsors whatsoever, so these are solely my 
own opinions and they're unbiased because nobody's paying me to say it. Um, I really fell in love with the Storm products. So this year I want to do some, some pike um, and maybe some musky fishing. And so I'm getting the baits ready for that. And one of those would be this right here. This is a flat stick from Storm. Look at the size of that. That's a six inch flat stick. This is a tiger, tiger stripe um, color. It's uh, got a, a real deep knocker in it. It doesn't dive very deep. It only dives, um, um, oh God, uh, one, one to eight feet. So it's not a very deep diver. And believe it or not, those fish don't, don't go for deep diving fish anyways they, they're of they're more of a top column striking they like to come up from the bottom so i got this for for that and um and that is going to go in my jerk bait box and see these boxes from run cell you see how i can open that up with just one hand and these are my jerk bait box this is my jerkbait box, and this is going to go right here with my um, Mega Bass bait, which are about the same size, and um, they're going to be the same purpose, and there you go, and actually right here is my storm baits, and these are my six cents, this is my... Um, Berkeley and Rapella. This is my Mega Bass. That's a Mega Bass. And then I have another Storm. This is a, um, a Thunder Stick. I have this Thunder Stick Junior. I bought the um, regular size one. This is a 10 to 24 foot depth. I wanted something deep diving that's going to really reflect in those darker waters um it's got a black top look at that um real subtle subtle um rattle to it and this will go into the jerk bait box again and i do believe that's going to have to go with my repella in berkeley because it's too big for my storm side but that's okay And then I got a couple packs of TRDs, some Z-Man, uh, some Zoom, um, Super Flukes. I've got some um, Z-Man Shads or Minnows or whatever. These are going to be specifically for uh, jig trailers. I've got some Biospawn um, Exo Swims, 4.75 inch. Um, good color for here. It's a green silver. Uh, they call it Lab Lab Magic is the color. Um, I got some more vile bugs. Um, we got um, this color is uh, Alabama Craw. It's um, it's kind of like an orange yellow, like almost like a yellow okra and a greenish, greenish yellow right there, orangish. And I got the, um, the blue flake right here. And then I got a couple packages of the vile craws. These, these are kind of like the vile spawn, vile bugs, but these don't have the, um, the, the, the vent holes in them. These are solid. I've used these as trailers before. They work really good. Just not this color. And I'm, I really like this color. It's a black light. I like a purple. Dark, dark purple. This is awesome. So can't wait to try this. I may try this just as a uh, Texas rig. Or even just by itself with a weighted bottom hook. Which I had bought. I have both the um, 3 out weighted bot weighted and the four-aught 
weighted. So that's what I bought retail, getting ready for the spring. And this is the Mystery Tackle Box Pro um, Saltwater Inshore Box. And this is actually way better than last month's box. Last month, you know, they gave me five baits. They were kind of lame, uh, overpriced, and this is a little bit better. This is actually a lot bit better. Uh, the first bait that's on here, and here is the, just so you know, they, they what they do is they give you a price card to read what their retail price is if you were to go to a store and buy this stuff. Um, the first one is a Weston swim bait. Look at that. It is two point, it is two and an eighth ounces. It is four and three quarters inch long. And for a saltwater bait, um, that's not that bad. That's actually a pretty light bait for saltwater because remember, salt things sink a little, little slower. So if you take a look at that right here, look at that shine, the color. Um, it's a flat bait. Uh, I can't wait to throw this. I've got a um, an open reel bait caster with a loose striper pole this will be perfect for um which i'm going to use for my for my uh salt water and um the my fellow veterans they um they're the ones who also get to use this this is not one of those i'll keep for myself and give to the veteran we we're going to share all the salt water so this wesson and it's made in um sweden i believe or scandinavia um so and and you can tell they these even though they're aluminum hooks it's a it's a wicked sharp hook well made well well made um even has what depth it it it'll float down to one to three meters uh awesome uh i can't wait to throw this uh i know a striper or blue is going to go crazy for something like this then what we have for Another hard bait is a um, Smokey Joe CRD pencil popper, and I like poppers, so regardless, salt water, fresh water, doesn't matter. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be great. So, like I said, my veterans are going to love this stuff. Then we have a a fat bottom inshore rip, ripple belly. Fat bottom, ripple belly. Ah, here we go. Um, and that is these right here. They're uh, inshore type swim bait. Let me just pull one out just so you can see it. Um, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, be good to for the pogies. That way we can I can slice them up and and shoot for the blues and the stripers so yeah why not um then we have um dead dudley jr rat tails and that is these right here which says these are good for speckled trout redfish flounder and other game fish um let me show you them right here they're purple with a chartreuse tail um kind of neat um Probably a jig head and again, maybe for pogies or like it says speckled trout redfish um, Flounders and whatnot. So yeah, these are actually pretty nice uh, It's it's a nice nice feeling rubber um, It's good good plastic bait uh, as far as I know as plastic baits go And then I have last but not least a a like big bite baits and it doesn't say exactly what this is but it looks like a a chartreuse speckled uh, grub worm um i don't know maybe for trout or something like that who knows uh 
Okay, so you get I get one lane package in the whole thing. And then last but not least is a leader type deal. Um, I'm looking at this as uh, this could almost like when you catfish, you put your weight right here and you're baiting your hook right here. So your weight's down here. It's almost like a drop shot where it's, it's um, the bait's up. And then you just kind of like that. So I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, it did come with a sticker, a catch co like blown up um, bobber. So there you go. And the dibble tells you how tips and tricks. And since I know nothing about saltwater fishing, I will be reading that. And like I said, you guys, I did do a video in case you want to check it out. Because at 101 subscribers... I am going to do a random drawing. I've already downloaded the the app onto my phone to do the drawing. And so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Look at the video. See what I'm giving away. And after this giveaway, I'm going to do another giveaway at 200, 202 okay, subscribers. So I'm going to improve on what the giveaway is so every time i do a a giveaway it's gonna up the ante in how many subscribers and what those baits are gonna be and uh, they won't be cheesy matter of fact the retail on the baits that are on i will be giving away at 101 subscriptions is a retail of $25 so it's not cheap so until then I want you guys to remember if you know a veteran and you haven't heard from them for a while give them a call give them a buddy check make sure they're okay and until next time peace out